It was more than a hundred years ago that Lewis Carroll wrote about Alice's trip through the looking glass. Now that fiction has become a reality. So here we are going into virtual space and here I want to show you a little application where we've got a car. Virtual reality has grown a lot since its humble gimmicky beginnings, but is it still a toy or has it become a useful tool to improve our day-to-day -day lives? On average, we as human beings require at least 30 minutes of exercise every single day to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Now for most of us, that involves going for a run or lifting weights or joining a sports team. But as technology has evolved, we have evolved alongside it to exercise more and more virtually. There is a whole community offering free training through social media. Our hope is that any type of movement at all is gonna help them find um, some peace of mind. As technology has evolved, we've started using things like virtual trainers and cycling simulators to exercise without ever needing to leave the comforts of our own home. And now with the growth of virtual reality, no longer do we not even need to leave the comfort of our own home, we can bring the rest of the world to us. And so I set out to answer the very simple question, can you feasibly live a healthy lifestyle and exercise 30 minutes a day exclusively in virtual reality? Okay, I'm about to try my first VR workout. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna play and see what happens, and I'm gonna record it all on my Apple Watch so that we can see what happens. <laughs> Into the metaverse, I hate saying that. So from what I could find online, there were two apps that everyone recommended for if you were looking for just a workout. Lightbox VR and Thrill of the Fight. Both boxing apps, one of which is more like a rhythm game and general workout, and then the second one is just an actual video game where you're fighting in a, in a boxing ring. Think like the Rocky series. Um... <laughs> So my plan was to start in Lightbox, use that as a warm-up, and then spend the rest of the time in Thrill of the Fight, and just box until I physically can't anymore. That was the workout, there was no real plan. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? I just wanted to play video games, that's it, alright, sue me. Boxing. Oh my god! I gotta stop! I am so sweaty! Well, that was a 26 minute workout. I'll, uh, I'll put the workout information here. Look at this! That was half an hour, and I am so sweaty! Terrible! Terrible! It's the morning after my first workout. I just got out of the shower, which is why my hair is wet. Um, my body is so sore. I have, I'm sore, like, here, and all through the inside of my chest here, and, like, my arms. I don't know, I feel like having something to box against made the shadow boxing more intense. I don't know, I don't know how that works. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but that's what it feels like. Very, very, very sore today. I just finished workout two in VR, and I burnt 190 calories. I am wrecked. Look at that. Sexy. Oh, it's such a different kind of stamina. It just, oh, my whole body hurts. Just my entire, my everything. Okay, so I'm like a week and a half down now. Um, I've been doing the workouts and I've been doing just regular playing games as well because it's a VR headset. Of course, I'm gonna play video games. Something that I've noticed is that in both of those cases, I'm accidentally exercising way more then I feel like I'm exercising, like I, I'm exerting more energy than I feel like I'm doing because I'm so focused on playing the game or or doing the mini game or playing light boxing or I've been playing Resident Evil 4 as well and that's also been a massive workout funnily enough because that's lots of like moving around, reaching, turning, walking around the space so like I'm moving in all of these things and I'm not realizing quite how much I'm actually using my body in each and every one of those scenarios. So it's really interesting to see that I'm accidentally reaching my move goals before I've even intentionally made that my plan for that play session. So I desperately needed to know more about this, and I ended up finding a study called The Actual Versus Perceived Exertion During Active Virtual Reality Game Exercise. In the study, participants played 10 minutes of three different VR games with five minutes of rest between them. They then rated their enjoyment and perceived exertion, and their oxygen consumption and heart rate were measured alongside that. 
Then they did the same thing with a short gym session, also measuring their enjoyment and perceived exertion and their oxygen and heart rate. Results showed that actual physical exertion levels were higher than perceived exertion levels for the participants. That means that while playing exercise video games, participants underestimated how much exercise they were actually doing. This wasn't exclusive to just one of the three games they played, this effect was seen for all three of them. Participants also reported that the most physically intense game was also the most enjoyable. Exercise intensity is normally correlated negatively with enjoyment, so this shows a, an incredible benefit of this form of working out. <laughs> my theory is backed by science, I was right. Um, my perceived exertion is actually a lot lower than my actual exertion is. That's really interesting. I think that's fascinating that that can happen, that your, that your brain can be so distracted by something that it doesn't realize that it's working way harder than it actually is. But something that I do really quickly want to touch on is that I don't feel like I'm improving. I don't feel like I'm getting better at anything. It just feels like I'm doing general cardio. Like I don't feel like I'm becoming a better boxer. I don't feel like I'm learning a new skill. I don't think I'm improving in any specific sport. I'm just increasing my cardiovascular health, which is, which is important, that's obviously important. I'm not saying that you shouldn't improve your cardiovascular health. What I'm saying is that there's no skill building here. It's not like when you go to the gym and you learn how to lift weights and you learn these new skills or when you start running and you learn how to run with proper form and technique and you improve in that way. There's no levels of success here if that's a way that I can put that. I don't feel like I get any benefit or reward from completing a VR workout. I just feel like I've played video games and I've stood up for an hour. Whereas when I finish a run, I feel like I'm getting a lot more in the way of dopamine, both from the actual workout and from that feeling of having improved in a meaningful way. So it's been about three weeks since I started doing this. And after about the first week and a half, I stopped doing the generic workout, stopped boxing and things like that. And I've just been playing games in virtual reality. And my Apple Watch has been tracking it without me asking. And just by playing VR games, my heart rate has gotten high enough and I'm using my body enough that my Apple Watch is automatically registering it as exercise. And by default, I'm reaching my 30 minutes of average exercise every single day without trying. And if that's not a positive sign of what virtual reality can do for the average person, then, then I don't know what is. That's, that's exactly what we're looking for in a situation like this. I mean, really, that's kind of like the best case scenario, right? You're, you're just playing video games and you're exercising at the same time and it's fun. Now, while that's true, this definitely isn't a replacement for general exercise. Um, I'm still training for some marathons this year. I'm still doing my regular training. I didn't stop any of that for this. This just became an addition. It became a more fun way for me to get some form of exercise outside of my regular training schedule. But I could totally see this for the average person who's just trying to get a little bit of extra movement into their day, that this would be the perfect way to go about that. Just play some video games, stand up, move around, and move your body in ways that you might normally not use it. So am I, am I gonna use virtual reality as a way to get crazy jacked and fit? No, absolutely not. Will I keep playing virtual reality? Yes, but because it's fun, not because it's, it's an amazing way to get exercise, even though technically it does work. I think I touched on something really important at the end there, actually. I mentioned that I'm gonna keep doing it because it's fun. And I feel like that transfers really well into the rest of my training ideology. If training isn't fun, or at least can be fun, it's not always gonna be fun, then there's no point in pushing yourself to do it. So ultimately, I feel like virtual reality is a really great stepping stone into taking your health and your fitness more seriously. It's a really great way to make working out fun again. And I think that's really the strength and the benefit of using virtual reality to reach that 30 minute exercise goal every single day. And for that, I would absolutely recommend it. Am I gonna continue exercising in VR exclusively? No, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing what works traditionally for me. Would I recommend this for someone just starting out with their exercise journey and maybe already is interested in virtual reality and technology in some way, then yes, this would absolutely be probably the best stepping on point for you. It'll be the most fun, most exciting, and it'll keep you the most engaged. All right, I'm gonna end it there. I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you think about virtual reality as an exercise medium? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more of these movies, and I'll see you in the next one. 
Jay Shader explains virtual reality lets you travel to places you've never been and see things you've never seen and do things you've never done without ever leaving the room. Also, I have a Patreon. You should go check that out. The link is at the top of my description.